Oh, 48 over 120 equals x over 100. And then you cross multiply and get the value of x. Whatever. I'm getting cheese fries. So, have you seen any guys that you think are cute yet? Mean Girls, the iconic teen comedy released in 2004, has left an indelible mark on pop culture with its witty humor and memorable characters. Over the years, the film's cast has continued to make waves in the entertainment industry. In this episode of Hollywood Flashback, we'll take a look at the stars of Mean Girls and see how their careers and lives have evolved since the film's release. From Lindsay Lohan to Rachel McAdams, we'll catch up with these talented actresses and discover what they've been up to. Let's dive into the fascinating journey of the Mean Girls cast, then and now. Lindsay Lohan as Katie Heron. I have this theory that if you cut all her hair off, she'd look like a British man. Yeah. I know you told me. A girl who kind of is an heiress that has pretty much everything yep. and something happens to her, she gets in a bad accident. Lindsay Lohan experienced both career highs and personal challenges after the film's success. She starred in various films like Just My Luck, Georgia Rule, I Know Who Killed Me, Machete, and The Canyons, as well as took on television roles in Ugly Betty and the British series Sick Note. She also portrayed Elizabeth Taylor in the Lifetime movie Liz and Dick, Following a screen hiatus, Lohan made a comeback with a Netflix holiday rom-com, Falling for Christmas, in 2022, and another Netflix rom-com, Irish Wish, in 2023. Additionally, in 2022, she married financier Bader Shamas, and they welcomed their first child, a son named Louis, in July 2023. Rachel McAdams as Regina George So this was like the real, first real deal, yeah, of like Rachel McAdams saw her career flourish after the film. She starred in a wide range of projects, including The Notebook, Wedding Crashers, Midnight in Paris, and Spotlight, which earned her an Oscar nomination. She also took on a leading role in the second season of HBO's True Detective. In 2022, McAdams returned as Dr. Christine Palmer in the Marvel Cinematic Universe sequel, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and starred in the film adaptation of Judy Bloom's Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, in 2023. McAdams is a mother of two children, with screenwriter Jamie Linden. Amanda Seyfried as Karen Smith. It's like I have ESPN or something. I press. Oh, I know, I would do it for work. I wouldn't want to ever um, force people to listen to me. Amanda Seyfried had a successful career after the film. She starred in the TV series Big Love, played leading roles in the Mamma Mia movies, and portrayed Cosette in the film adaptation of Les Miserables, which earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. In September 2022, she won an Emmy for her role as Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes in The Dropout. Seyfried is also a Lancome ambassadress and a mother to a daughter and son with her husband, Thomas Sadowski. Lacey Chabert as Gretchen Wieners. Stated when he broke up with her last summer. Wait, irregardless, ex-boyfriends are just off limits to where these women are now. And yeah. if their kids are the new mean girls and, yeah. you know. Lacey Chabert had a successful career before the film primarily in voice roles in movies like Anastasia and The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, as well as on the Nickelodeon series The Wild Thornberries. She was also a main cast member on Party of Five. After Mean Girls, Chabert continued her work in TV movies and voiceover roles, along with appearing in feature films. However, she found her true calling in Hallmark Channel movies and has appeared in more than 30 of them. Shabir is also a mother, having welcomed her daughter, Julia, in 2016 with her husband, David Nadar. Tina Fey as Miss Norbury. I know. How would I know, right? I'm divorced. Oh, yeah, we could do this. Yeah. I um, mean, I did actually. It was very, they're so lovely, those guys, and I did hear from them. Uh... Tina Fey, who played Miss Norbury and wrote the screenplay for Mean Girls, continued to have a successful career, both in front of and behind the camera. After her time on Saturday Night Live, she created and starred in 30 Rock and worked on various TV shows and films. Her work has earned her numerous awards, including Emmy Awards and Golden Globes. 
Faye also brought Mean Girls to Broadway and received a Tony nomination for her outstanding book of the musical. She'll reprise her role as Ms. Norbury for the Paramount Plus film adaptation of the Mean Girls musical. Tina Fey has been married to composer-producer Jeff Richmond since 2001, and they have two daughters. They also collaborate on various projects, with Richmond receiving a Tony nomination for writing the score for the Mean Girls musical. Amy Poehler as Mrs. George. Oh God, honey, no. What kind of mother do you think I am? Out of the work that my unions are doing, and I'm in full support of them, and I... Amy Poehler continued her successful career after the film. She remained on Saturday Night Live until 2010, and then starred in the popular show Parks and Recreation, winning a Golden Globe for her role as Leslie Nope. She appeared in various films and provided voice work for animated movies like Horton Hears a Who and Inside Out. Polar won an Emmy Award for hosting SNL and received numerous Emmy nominations in various categories. She also hosted reality TV shows like Making It and Baking It. In addition to her extensive career, Polar is known for her partnership with Tina Fey, and they embarked on a live comedy tour in 2023. Amy Poehler was previously married to comedian Will Arnett from 2003 to 2016, and they have two sons together. Anna Gasteyer as Mrs. Heron. This is the fertility vase of the Ndebele tribe. Does that mean anything? To and I walked along, and then I saw Quinta, and she has been so supportive of American Auto. Anna Gasteyer continued her career primarily in television after the film. While she had a few movie roles, including That's My Boy, Wine Country, and Happiest Season, her television career has been more extensive. She had recurring roles on shows like The Good Wife, The Goldbergs, Lady Dynamite, and Suburgatory. In 2021, Gasteyer starred in the lead role on the NBC sitcom American Auto. She's also known for her musical theater work and has played Alfaba in the Chicago and Broadway productions of Wicked. Anna Gasteyer is married to Charlie McKittrick, and they have two children, a daughter named Frances Marie and a son named Ulysses. Tim Meadows as Mr. Duval. I got parents calling me on the phone asking, did someone get shot? Give me a hug. I'm not going to eat you. Also, don't hug me because I will try to eat you. Tim Meadows continued to have a busy career in film and television after the movie. He appeared in films such as The Benchwarmers, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, Semi-Pro, and Trainwreck. Meadows is also a regular in Adam Sandler's projects, including Grown Ups and Hubie Halloween. On television, he had appearances in numerous series and had recurring roles in shows like Bob's Burgers, Marry Me, The Goldbergs, and its spin-off, Schooled. Tim Meadows was the only original Mean Girls cast member to appear in the 2011 ABC Family sequel, Mean Girls 2 where he reprised his role as Mr. Duvall. He has two sons with his former wife, Michelle Taylor. Daniel Franzese as Damien. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. Uh, tweet or like post where I was when I was there. After his role as Damien in Mean Girls, Daniel Franzese continued to work in the entertainment industry. He starred in TV series such as Looking, Recovery Road, and Conviction. He also made appearances on reality shows like RuPaul's Secret Celebrity Drag Race and Not So Straight in Silver Lake. In his personal life, Franzese split from his fiance Joseph Bradley Phillips in 2018. Lizzie Kaplan as Janice Ian. Man, that is bleak. So, when are you going to see Regina again? And now he's 19 months, so his language is kind of... Lizzie Kaplan, who played Janice in Mean Girls, continued to have a successful acting career in both film and television. She appeared in movies like Cloverfield, Hot Tub Time Machine, and Now You See Me Too. Kaplan had notable television roles, including Casey Klein on Party Down and Virginia Johnson on Masters of Sex. She also made appearances on various TV shows such as True Blood, New Girl, The League, Castle Rock, and Truth Be Told. Kaplan is set to star as Alex Forrest in the Paramount Plus series adaptation of Fatal Attraction. She married actor Tom Riley in 2017, and they have a son named Alfie, born in 2021. Jonathan Bennett as Aaron Samuels. It's a costume party. People get pretty into it. 
I love making people laugh, and I think if you're in a sitcom and you have that live studio audience. After Mean Girls, Jonathan Bennett continued his career with roles in films like Cheaper by the Dozen 2 and Van Wilder Freshman Year, along with appearances on Dancing with the Stars and Celebrity Big Brother. He also joined the iconic tribute to Mean Girls in Ariana Grande's Thank You Next video and built a side career as a host on shows like Cupcake Wars and Halloween Wars. Notably, in 2022, he starred in the Hallmark Channel's first Christmas movie featuring an LGBTQ couple, The Holiday Sitter, and married his longtime partner, James Vaughn. Julia Chantry as Amber Delacio. Made out with a hot dog. Oh my God, that was one time. Thought day number one, mindfulness and deep breathing. So we got the hysteria calmed. You may remember Amber as the student who made out with a hot dog, but it was only one time. She also heard that Regina does car commercials in Japan. No longer sitting at the burnouts table in the cafeteria, Julia Chantry voiced Eva on the Canadian animated series Total Drama, appeared in Guillermo del Toro's 2013 horror film Mama, and has made guest appearances in several notable television series, including Flashpoint, The Handmaid's Tale, and The Umbrella Academy. If you found this episode as fascinating as we did, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Who's your favorite Mean Girls cast member, and what surprised you most about their journey? Show your love for Mean Girls by hitting that like button, and be sure to share it with your friends who are also fans of this iconic movie. For more captivating glimpses into the world of entertainment, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Your support keeps us going, and we can't wait to bring you more incredible stories from Hollywood. Thanks for watching!